Two simple observations, terribly obvious, yet rarely stated with clarity, have finally broken out into the open in the last 48 hours. Together, they should help define our politics. First, the hypocrisy of certain leaders of the Republican Party knows no bounds. It is, quite frankly, revolting that those same individuals who in 2004 maligned John Kerry as weak and challenged his genuine and heroic war record while trumpeting the false bravado of President George W. Bush's claim of mission accomplished now attack President Obama for legitimately claiming credit for the tough decision that led to the killing of Osama bin Laden. This, at the same time, Rudy Giuliani and Mitt Romney go on a political tour of New York firehouses to somehow play on Rudy's residual popularity stemming from 9-11. Second, we now have a definitive statement from a British parliamentary investigative committee that lays out in exhaustive detail the corruption and willful blindness to corruption that permeates News Corp, the primary mouthpiece of the Republican Party in this country. The committee did something quite remarkable. While not charging Murdoch, that is someone else's job, they said with absolute clarity he is not a fit person to exercise the stewardship of a major international company. Weave these two strands together and you understand why Washington is ground to a halt and our politics is so toxic. But here's my hope. The public will reject out of hand the Republican hypocrisy relating to Osama bin Laden, and the Department of Justice will finally gear up to do some serious work on News Corp. Most important, we must not let the unfortunate nature of our politics of the moment dissuade us from a clear imperative. We must do better.